What's up guys, your girl Luca here, back with another video, and today I will be discussing some more of the backlash from Hogwarts Legacy releasing, and the positive reception from the critics, and the positive reviews. So, you know, let's, um, I don't know, before we get into that, if I can ask you guys to please hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. Now, if I seem a bit frazzled, it's because I am a little bit... I, I'm not going to say upset. I will use the word annoyed. I am a little annoyed because this has gone from being funny and people freaking out about it being funny to it being bothersome. And let me tell you why. I don't understand how people who are in or support a minority group think that the best course of action for those who disagree in some way or another, or those who don't follow your viewpoints exactly the way that you want them to, that the best course of action is to badger, to bully, to harass, and to send death threats. Somehow, in these people's brains, that is the best course of action. Somehow, that makes sense to them. And really, what it comes down to is this concept of weaponizing victimhood, okay? Because they are part of a minority group, they automatically believe that it shields them from any sort of criticism and critique because they can pull, they, they can pull the, well, if you don't, you don't agree with me, you're, you're any sort of thing that you want to throw in there, you know? And for me, when I see things like that happen, I'm just like, hmm. It's so easy, it's so easy to accuse people of being bigoted instead of addressing the fact, or maybe this concept and idea that your, your views don't necessarily hold any weight or hold any water. They don't really make sense. Allow me to explain. People going around calling you a bigot because you wanna play a video game, it doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, it is just a game. Um, it's not some political statement, okay? The majority of the people who will play this game have no idea what JKR has said, and they also don't care, you know? And I'm sure they're, you know, they're just like, okay, I just want to play a game and keep it moving, right? But what I've seen from this community in the last few days has just been, I mean, when I say this community, I'm not even solely speaking on the trans community. I'm speaking on the people who are speaking on behalf of the trans community. I'm speaking on the people who are like, yeah, yeah, it's okay to send death threats because I support trans people. And I'm just like, mm, is that the message that you really want to be putting out there? Is that is that the message you want folks to receive when it comes to this, really? Because somehow... The idea of alienating potential allies seems to, you know, seems to be the one, seems to be the one that's uh, most prevalent. And for me, I'm just kind of like, hmm, doesn't make much sense. Now, people are going around and they are, they're calling and accusing folks who are typically on their side. They're accusing them of being bigots because of this one issue. So, girlfriend reviews, YouTube channel girlfriend reviews. Apparently, apparently uh, their chat came through and uh, decided to bully, bully them for playing this game. Let's let's listen. Let's let's listen a little. Let me grab my headphone. We can listen together. Flip up, and now it's like whatever. I'm almost like thinking of just like either going offline or. Like we're, I'm barely into the second combat here, and every time I look at chat, it's just the conversation is just like bothering me. You can take a break if you want. I'll just stop talking and I'll just go fight and do the combat. Now, as you guys could hear, though she was trying to hide it, this girl uh, is tearing up. You know, you could tell that she's upset. And then I know that there are some people like, oh, boo hoo, uh, her feelings were, yeah. Yeah, maybe if you had a little more empathy for others, they would have some empathy for you. You ever consider that? You ever stop and think about that? You know, there, people. these people think that their freaking 
freedom fighters. They they think that they're like rallying against others for this cause as they sit in their homes on their smartphones where the most that they do is go on the internet to bully other people. They think that they're on the same level as those who've actually put in the work to help with these causes solely because of this. They pat themselves on the back with their selective activism. Let's 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 listen to another clip. Oh. You know what? Let's go ahead and listen to it together, guys. Uh you know, toxic yeah. and repeating yourself it's and just sitting here seething, being mad that we're okay that we're doing our job, you know. No, it's not. It's subs. I'm serious. <laughs> it's a sub. It's a if I see you. I hear you. I love it. Thank you for your longtime support. I will personally ban you if you don't give it a rest. Yeah, we're taking your okay. opinions into consideration. We might not even make a YouTube video on this if that's, you know, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, you don't need to sit here and make us feel bad. Like, mm -hmm. you know, toxic yeah. and repeating yourself and just sitting here seething, being mad. So... Somehow they were able to cultivate an audience that uh, will turn against them at, at a moment's notice, which I find to be fairly unfortunate because these people eat their own. You know the craziest aspect of that? As someone who is part of several minority groups myself, obviously, I am of the belief that we should be supportive of one another. Therefore, I support other minority groups because I don't and I am not delusional enough to believe that it can be so everything can be solved by ourselves, you know? But these people don't get that. They don't seem to understand. And you know what? I don't even want to solely put the blame on folks in the trans community. I'm like side-eyeing the people who are speaking on behalf of them. I'm I'm side-eyeing them because I have seen some of the things I've seen from them where they're attempting to justify bullying and death threats. When I'm like, are you even a part of the trans community pushing forth this narrative? You're pushing forth this narrative and you're making people in the trans community look bad because people are going to assume that it's folks solely in the trans community having these kind of ideas. When I know for a fact that it's not. Because there, there have been plenty of trans people who've shown up on my timeline who are like, mm, I don't really condone the harassment, you know? There have been trans people on my timeline who are like, I really don't, you can play this game, I don't care. Okay, JKR sucks, whatever, I'm gonna keep it moving. But no, it's, it's, all, man, it's, it's always those people. It's always those people who claim to be with a group in the sense that I support this group, right? I'm going to do everything in my power to make this group look absolutely awful. But, you know, what do I, what does the, what does the black woman know, right, um, about the people and their, uh, their, the way they push their allyship and the way they attempt to speak on behalf of certain groups? You know, what, what do I know about that? Absolutely nothing, right? But um, my thing is, I just, I don't, I just think this is absolutely ridiculous, mostly. And I'm just kind of like, mm, it can only end bad because at the end of the day, um, I got, I hate to say it and people don't seem to understand it, but folks who are generally supportive, who were generally supportive slash neutral on the topic of these issues slash ignorant on these topics, right? Because the con some people are going to get sick and tired of the constant badgering. Some people are going to be like, mm, actually, you know what? F, F you guys. I don't support this. I don't support y'all because of this. And then I'm, there's going to be people like, well, I mean, if they're da, 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 so shaky, then blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what, you expect people to support your you after you tell them that you want to hurt them? You, that's what you, I mean, where's the, um, what's the thought process there? Where's the logic there? You know, I, I don't, uh, I don't get it, you know, and this chick here, uh, Jessica Condit, I don't, I don't know who this chick is. Um, 
she is like she's stating that the level of infighting and hate in her feed this morning is heartbreaking if you're boycotting hogwarts legacy cool boycott the game not the players keep the focus on our shared fight forget her name which i'm <laughs> okay these replies you know some people are agreeing with her and then others are like mm, i actually uh I don't agree. <laughs> like, here, look at these these people here. And you know what? They are right to have whatever opinion that they have. But I think that, they, again, they are missing the bigger picture. And they don't seem to understand that you cannot solve these issues by, by spreading hate and attacking people who have caused you no actual harm. Allow me to explain. People who are choosing to play this game are not the ones actively going out of their way to be transphobic. They're not the ones spewing transphobic rhetoric or attempting to go against uh, transphobic ideals or anything, or trans ideas, ideals, that is, you know? They're the ones who are just like, mm -hmm. I'm just a random consumer wanting to pick up this game and somehow you're going to target me and attack me? instead of us focusing on the larger picture, that makes sense? Okay. Honestly speaking, I don't, I don't, um, I just think it's, I just think it's sad. I think it's really sad. And this concept, it's solidarity with trans people are funding hate. It's not that hard. Not every single trans person agrees that it's funding hate. So what trans people am I supposed to be listening to? Do you get what I'm saying there? Ultimately, to, to say it like this, guys, so far we've been having some fantastic conversations in the chat the last few days, and I hope to never, never bring forth an audience that would turn on me, turn on me so quickly, all because I have a different viewpoint than them. And to be fair, so far from what I've seen in my comments, even if people don't agree with me, they're like, mm, I don't agree, and this is why, and I'm going to give you a, a thoughtful response as to why, instead of just blatantly attacking you and calling you names, which I appreciate. Because at the end of the day, regardless of the facts of the matter, which is that I am someone, again, who is supportive of several causes, you're not going to bully me. I will never apologize for something as asinine as picking up a video game and wanting to play it. That's not me. So even if my my chat, which they're not going to do, but even if my chat did come at me and did attack me, I'd be like, mm, I don't really care. Because I'm not going to let a bunch of strangers on the internet make me feel bad about playing a game. It's just not going to happen. And you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad either. Because again, it, it comes down to this. If your morals and your viewpoint and perspective can be shaken so easily based on some a couple people being like, you're a bigot because you're playing this game. Am I a bigot because I play again? Brother, I need y'all to start being serious for one second here. Let's use some critical thinking skills. And um, man... Good luck, because this, this, this irreparable harm to the cause, essentially, with this behavior. But you know what? Pat yourselves on the back. Feel good about yourselves, because I can, I can badger and bully and call people bigots because I'm on the right side of history, and I have this veil of protection, right? Mm, good for you. But you know what, guys? That's it for me for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll catch you for another one. Peace.